Space is filled with billions of hot, burning stars that are far bigger and hotter than our own sun. Despite that, space is unbelievably cold. If there are so many hot stars in space radiating such a staggering amount of heat, why is space still so cold? There is only one star in our solar system, the sun. It provides all of our daylight and natural heating. However, the sun is quite far away from us, around 150 million kilometers to be precise. It's so far away that even its light, something that can cover 300,000 kilometers in a single second, takes eight yeah. minutes to reach us. Even over that massive distance, temperatures can get so high during scorching summer days that it feels like the sun is sitting right on top of us. Now, think about this. If only one star, one that is millions of kilometers away from us, can heat up our planet so fast and so comprehensively, what would happen if there were more than one star in our proximity? After the Sun, the star closest to our solar system is Proxima Centauri. It is located 4.3 light years from our planet. This star is actually part of a three star system, the other two stars being Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. Interestingly, when you look up at the night sky, you can see around 5,000 stars with the naked eye, provided you're not in a severely air polluted location. However, that's just what you can see with the naked eye. More advanced space telescopes can see billions of stars out there in space. If there are so many stars out there, it seems fair to assume that space is a really, really hot place, right? Well, not really. From a purely technical standpoint, it's incorrect to say that space is cold. Space is not cold because space is not actually anything. It's not factually correct to say that space is cold, nor is it fair to say that space is hot, because a perfect vacuum has no temperature at all. As such, space doesn't have a temperature of its own. It's generally said that space is cold, but space is not cold in and of itself. Rather, the things in space are cold. And why do things become cold in space? The answer to that is simple. Heat transfer. In basic terms, heat transfer is the process by which heat flows from one object or system to another due to temperature differences between the two. There are three main ways by which heat transfer occurs. Conduction, convection, and radiation. You can heat only one side of a steel plate on a cooktop, yet the entire plate will get hot. That's an example of heat transfer due to conduction. All the water inside a container becomes hot when you only apply heat to the bottom of that container, which is a classic example of convection. We all experience the scorching heat of the sun when we step out of the house on a hot summer day. Why is that? Radiation. Similarly, you may have noticed that when you sit in front of an incandescent lamp for too long, it feels warmer than the rest of the dark room. That's also because the lamp emitting heat as radiation. Now, the interesting thing about radiation is that it doesn't require any kind of contact between the heat source and the object, unlike conduction and convection, both of which require matter to transfer heat. Everything in space, unless they are very close to a heat source like our sun, becomes cold because it constantly loses heat due to radiation. However, if that's the case, why does our planet stay warm? Earth remains warm because of its atmosphere, which acts like a blanket that traps the heat from the sun and keeps the planet warm. If you go to the moon, temperature conditions will be vastly different from what you experience here. On the moon, you would experience huge temperature fluctuations, depending on whether it's daytime or nighttime, simply because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere like the one on Earth. The loss of heat due to radiation is the primary cause for things getting cold in space, which is why it's generally said that space is cold, despite being... nothing. That being said, empty space does contain atoms, albeit a very, very small amount of them. Far from stars and planets, deep space is filled with a very thin gas that does have a temperature, one that is very low. Why is that, especially when space is filled with billions and billions of hot, burning stars? There are two reasons behind this. First of all, stars are really, really far away from each other. They may look all bunched up together when you look at them in the night sky, but the stars you're seeing up there are billions of kilometers away from Earth, and a long way from each other. Consider the case of Proxima Centauri, the closest star after the Sun. It is located at a distance of roughly 4.3 light years. To put this in perspective, if a car starts from Earth and travels at a speed of 60 miles per hour, it would take more than 48 million years to reach that star. That's how far away it is from us. This is just one example, 
Stars in space are extremely far away from each other, contrary to what one might assume when they look up at a twinkling night sky. All these stars are extremely hot, sure, but they are so far apart and have so much space between them that it's simply impossible for them to heat up all of space. Expecting these stars to heat the entirety of outer space is akin to expecting a bonfire in your backyard to heat up your whole country. Basically, it's a terribly impractical expectation. The other reason behind the apparent coldness of space is related to it being a vacuum. Space is one enormous vacuum, which inherently means that there is no matter of any kind that could facilitate any sort of heat transfer. Except for planets and other celestial bodies, there's nothing in space that stores heat or passes along heat. In simple words, the rays of a star don't heat space because there's nothing to heat. However, if you were left in space, close to Earth, and you were directly facing the Sun, you would get heated to a few hundred degrees because you would be dangerously close to that star, and at such a small distance, the rays from the Sun would heat up your body. All objects lose heat due to radiation, but those that are close to a star get heated up again, and therefore never become as cold as the objects that are billions of kilometers away from any star. This is why, if you were left in deep space, where you wouldn't be as close to any star as you were to the sun right now, then your body would experience a freezing cold, as it would start losing heat, albeit this process of losing heat and getting cold would occur quite slowly. In a nutshell, space is cold, despite having so many hot stars, because space also contains such an incomprehensibly large amount of nothingness. Saying that space is cold, however, is too simple. What you should say is that an object in space is so far from any source of heat or radiation that it ends up losing more heat than it gains, which makes it cold. There's just simply not enough hot stars to warm the entire universe entirely.